Hey guys, it's Kill Kill Game with another ROM review and uh, this time I've got the Cardinal OS version 3.4 for the OnePlus 3, so stay tuned for that. So guys, the Cardinal OS. Now, let me tell you guys that I have made this video like four times previously uh and every time i made the review um kind of i had to go uh off somewhere and i was not able to post the video i was able, not able to edit the video and a new version comes out so that has been happening for some time now and this is the 3.4 version and um i thought it is finally uh it, it is finally time to get this thing done so let's get started now first of all uh this is a lock screen which is a normal marshmallow lock screen i have fingerprint enabled and that does work out pretty nicely now let's get started on the settings now first of all this is an aosp based rom so you will expect most of the AOSP based softwares and well basically the minimal uh, extra stuff which you get with other AOSP based ROM. So let's uh, just keep it at that. Now this is called the Cardinal AOSP and it does have an OTA updater which just downloads the full version of the uh, uh, which downloads the full version of the ROM but still OTA, OTA update is better than not having an OTA update so yeah now it is uh, on the 6.0.1 that it has not uh, graduated to the no get releases but I would say that is a good thing because no get releases are not the most stable releases out there right now so yeah another thing uh, this is the 3.4 official as i've already said the security patches is still on september but i am expecting uh the october patches to be released soon enough the kernel is intoxicated i don't know it is a custom kernel but basically similar to whatever it is the cyanogen mod uh kernel so you do have that gcc kernel gcc android also that can be seen uh build number is available and you can actually unlock the developer option so you do have that developer option is basically what you would expect out of any other uh, AOSP based ROM you do have stay awake running services uh, debugging mode and uh, you do have the uh, scale animation which you can have with 7.5 and that is amazing I personally like this a lot and that is much more usable you do have the multi window mode enabler but I would suggest you won't do that because uh, multi window in uh, marshmallow is a lot of finicky it's not really out for prime time yet so yeah just so you guys know let's get to the stuff which is interesting now everything else is basically what you would expect out of any other custom rom usb based uh but it does have a few extra stuff so let's get into the wings now in the wings uh, you do have the display option this should have been in the setting menu but it is in the wings option so yeah uh, you do have the brightness level whatever you would expect out of a uh display mode it does have themes which is dark theme also and i do like this theme a lot now this does not support the cyanogen mod theme engine and you wouldn't expect it to but it does have the uh, st substratum theme engine in build so you can actually use any of the substratum themes which is out there and that will work pretty nicely you do have the uh, press power button twice for camera ambient display enabler prevent accidental wake up now this prevent accidental wake up just is uh, covering the uh, screen it does not cover the fingerprint scanner but the newer releases of cyanogen mod uh, uh, particularly the Sultan XDA version and the Resurrection Remix official version does support the fingerprint scanner also. I would have liked to have seen that available but uh, I suggest that is going to be a matter of time before those get implemented into it. LCD density can be customized and you do have a lot of options here. You have 480, um, uh, 320 and all that but uh, strangely you can also select the or any of this uh, option here and you can even have a custom uh, dpi setting which a lot of roms are missing out on uh, personally 400 is not my favorite one it is 408 it is still there 408 but you do want to have a custom feel for everything so you do have the custom option also if by one by some reason your resolution is not supported in this one so yeah now it does have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and volume rock to wake so these are nice addition to see status bar option you do have status bar option items uh, these are the tuner UI settings where you can disable stuff which appears on the status bar pretty nice to see quick settings now you do have options to add stuff in your quick setting tiles uh, so all of these are available compass is available which is pretty nice I really like to have compass whenever I go somewhere so that is really nice to see you do have a few options there number of tiles per row really amazing to see I really really like uh, four tiles per row I have selected five because I can uh, I really like that. Disable quick settings in the lock screen also is available and that's really nice to see. Uh, 
show clock and date uh the clock and date alignment can be left clock uh, right clock this is my new uh favorite position the left clock with uh well left clock with uh a small am indicator and that's really cool uh but it's percentage style can be customized uh, you, you see that I have enabled the circle bar now a beef with the circle bar in this warm is that the circle bar right now the battery level is kind of at 57 but looking at the circle bar it shows just full it just doesn't change so yeah not the best uh, circle bar implementation as notification and sound option you do have uh, all the options for that link ring and notification volume prevent audio ducking uh, also vibrate for call something which I almost always Turn enabled notification light can be customized and it does have the uh, live screen on and custom values and default all of that is available uh, battery light can be customized notification access app notification all of this can be customized and that is a good thing in the buttons option the buttons option you do have option to uh, just select anything I mean you have option for the back button the home screen button and the uh, overview button so that is not the case with the um, status bar uh, with the uh, button layout in science mode you can only customize home button and recent button but you have option here now it does also have the long press and double tap option so you can even select any uh, custom applications also and that is amazing I really appreciate that more than anything because that's something which I tend to uh, do on this ROM on any ROM so yeah that's a side note uh, out of the box when you flash this ROM the button layout is uh, changed like this is the recent button and this is the back button which uh, is not my preferred way and there is no simple uh, invert the selection button here so that would be kind of uh, helpful for most people so if you are listening the developer please do add that because that is really really helpful for most people in the navigation bar setting now I know I don't really uh, use the navigation bar most of the time but this is something which I really appreciate. This is the fling settings and uh, fling is something which I really really appreciate. Now you have a right short swipe. If you right short swipe it will go to the recent menu and right long swipe it will go to the search assistant. I don't have Google now installed right now but you do have that. Uh, left long swipe uh, you can have some application I mean okay let's see left uh, long swipe uh, you if le turn on the flashlight and that is amazing and this really does um, get a lot of functionality into a small bar so this does make it really really enjoyable and really really useful and I really like the bar size option also where you can actually uh, shorten the bar to whatever you want and uh, that is something which I really appreciate so that it doesn't really cause a lot of intrusion also and I know this is not the uh, this is not the only ROM which supports the uh, smart bar or the fling settings. Uh, there are other ROMs available also and Resurrection Remix does support that. But I really like this implementation because this ROM is not a feature heavy ROM as uh, it is on the um, uh, Resurrection Remix. But still this does support this, this uh, specific feature and I really really appreciate this specific feature over anything else in this ROM. So that's pretty nice. So that is it in the wings section and I've already told you guys there is a substratum option and you can actually enable substratum themes. Does work very well. I personally do not use any substratum themes because I don't think they are as in, in, innovative as the uh, science mod theme engine but uh, it is available for anyone who does want to use that so that's pretty nice to see now rest everything is basically what you would expect out of any other custom ROM it does have the one plus dose option where you can enable the pocket mode and pick up uh, the all the ambient display stuff it does have the gestures which is really cool and it does work out really nicely additional buttons is there and it is working so that is really nice to see and uh, yeah that is pretty much it in the settings menu so here is the entry to benchmark score which is about 150,000 that's closer to 151,000 and that is probably the highest score which I've received on an USB based ROM and uh, yeah the performance also does give you that uh, that uh, impression that this is a really fast ROM uh, using it for games and all that it has been really really nice and I really appreciate that a lot in this ROM now the included package list is really minimal so you do get uh, the basic of the basic you do get a file manager also so that's something which I really appreciate you do have audio effects which is the uh, older kind of audio effect but still it will make do I personally do not use that a lot but uh, it is available for those who need to let me show you guys the boot animation which is pretty amazing so here is the boot animation which is basically the standard marshmallow boot animation nothing special there so yeah now guys in the conclusion I would like to say that this is a very very stable ROM with uh, 
the essential customization options like the quick setting five panel node that is an essential for me at least and uh, stuff like this which makes your life easier substratum theme is available for those who want to theme your phone but the dark mode i personally only use uh, the substratum and layers theme for making the screen dark and uh, the dark theme in here is pretty usable and it's pretty much uh, what you want in this rom so that is pretty it that's really cool and yeah this is a stable rom with no frills features and that is what matters and for those who want this phone to be as stable as it can be i don't really see many other roms which can do that so yeah pretty much it i guess that much is it about the rom hope you guys like the video please share subscribe and like the video if you find it useful see you guys next time bye